everyone and welcome to our story time today. I have brought along a lovely book all about a chick and a fluffy sheep. The title of the book today is The Sheep Who Hatched an Egg. Hmm. And this book was written by Gemma Marino. I hope you enjoy our story. Lola the sheep had extraordinary wool. It was shiny and silky and so soft, it never tangled. Lola spent hours washing, drying and brushing her wool to make it absolutely perfect. When she was finally ready, Lola loved walking through the farm. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she perfect? Isn't her wool extraordinary? said all the other sheep. And Lola felt proud and happy. But one hot day, something terrible happened. All the sheep had to have a haircut. Hmm. And Lola's extraordinary wool was gone. Hmm. Now you will feel nice and cool, said the dog. But Lola felt ridiculous without her shiny, silky wool. All she wanted to do was hide. So off she went to the far side of the hill where she waited and waited and waited. And little by little, her wool grew back. But Lola's wool didn't grow back shiny or silky. It wasn't even soft. It was wild, it was messy, it was tangled. It was horrible, cried Lola. Just then, a small, delicate egg landed on her head. But her wool was so thick now, she didn't even notice. That night was very cold, but the little egg was safe and snug, wrapped in Lola's messy wool. And there it stayed until Lola woke up to find a small, excited chick sitting on her head. Lola loved the chick's colourful feathers and its beautiful song. And the chick loved Lola's kindness and her very messy wool. It's so fluffy, it's so warm, your wool is extraordinary, said the chick each night. And Lola felt proud and happy to help her little friend. Lola and the chick had so much fun together. Every day the chick grew bigger and stronger. And Lola grew bigger and fluffier. But the days were getting hotter and hotter. I need a haircut, puffed Lola. And I need to see the world, said the chick. They both knew it was time to say goodbye. The next day, they wished each other good luck and hoped they would see each other again. Lola returned to the farm. She didn't look perfect, but it didn't matter. She was happy to see her friends. Lola now felt nice and cool and she no longer missed her shiny, silky wool. And this time, when it grew back, she hoped it would be wilder and
and fluffier than ever before. And it was. I hope you enjoyed our story about friendship this afternoon. We look forward to seeing you all very soon. Bye bye.